Hi, I'm Gregor and I am back with another video about legacy code. When you need to make changes to such code, it is often a good idea to start with some refactoring. The refactoring can help you understand what the code is doing and sometimes it is even necessary to refactor first to allow for a certain change. But to be able to refactor, you first need to put it under test. And this can be quite challenging especially when the code contains hard dependencies. I will show you some techniques to break such dependencies and make the code testable again. The following code prints some mean temperatures for comparison and it is quite hard to test because there are a lot of hard dependencies. If we check in the first line, there is already a hard dependency on the current date with the year month now method is depending on the current date. This is a problem because when I put it on a test, the test will work this month, but maybe it won't work the next month. It's not what I want. I want the test to be repeatable. I want it to work regardless of the month that I'm running it in. So how do I fix this? How do I break the dependency? Let me first take the whole code and extract it to a new method. This is a uh, print historical mean temperatures or something. This is what the code is doing. One thing I could do is I could just extract this year month dot now as a parameter and push this problem up the core stack. So I'm pushing up the dependency on the current time. It would work, it would make my code testable, but it has one downside, which is that the behavior of getting the current date is not anymore part of this method. I have moved up the behavior to whoever calls this method. Maybe I don't want that. If I didn't want that, there would also be a better solution to this problem. If we look closely at the year month dot now method, what it does is it invokes another now method that takes a clock. And if you look at the clock, it is abstract, and there are different implementations of clock. For example, there is a fixed clock. And the fixed clock is supposed to be used in a test when unit testing. Look at the documentation. It says implementation of a clock that always returns the same instant. This is typically used for testing. Now, this is really great. We can use that clock to solve our problem. I would just inline this so it now uses the now method that takes the clock. And I would push up the clock as a parameter. Now, the behavior of getting the current month stays within this method, but it is still testable as I can pass whatever clock I want. Let me show you how you would do this in a test. Let's create the test. print temperatures. So in the test, I would just instantiate my application. And then I would call this method. Oh, wait, it's not an instant method yet. Let me first convert it to instance method so I can test it better. I can now invoke this method and I can provide a clock, whatever clock I like. I will choose the um, fixed clock. It needs a instant where I can provide whatever date I want. And I need to provide a zone ID. I will use the UTC and 
that's that. I can now pass whatever clock, whatever time, whatever month I need for my current test. And I broke the dependency. The code is still not testable because there are more dependencies to break. But I will show you these in a different video. I'm Gregor. See you next time.